guys, today I will be showing you how to put on your Ocean Hunter loading pad to your wetsuit. Uh, there is a couple of things you need to do before you start. First of all you have to make sure uh, that your wetsuit is not online uh, and not smooth skin or any beer neoprene uh, like the front of your loading pad is. Um, this is obviously not a wetsuit but this is just a scrap piece of neoprene I have just to show you. Um, so first of all what you need to do is put your loading pad in the position you want. Uh, then you need to check your iron that is on a medium or synthetic level. Uh, and the heats vary between uh, irons so you just have to, so I'll show you how to test it to see that it's not going to burn your neoprene. So what you need to do is make sure sitting flat and you start off by just holding the iron down for a couple of seconds and taking it off and seeing what it's doing to your tape. Yep, that's not too bad so we'll go again for a bit longer. That's looking pretty good. So then what we'll do now is we will work our way around it. Holding it down a little bit just to tack it in place. Just moving outwards with the iron. And you can use grease proof paper. Uh, if you don't trust yourself with an iron, it'll stop the uh, iron melting into the neoprene. So that's just about all tacked down. Now what you can do is just hold the iron down hard up against the loading pad. Not too long or you'll burn the uh, nylon. A good indication is if you've applied the right amount of heat is when the outside of the tape starts going white. A little fine white line around the edge. Glue's been melted in the heat tape. Okay, looking pretty good. Now you just want to, you gotta be careful, but you just want to heat the tape onto the outside of the smooth skin. So if you trust yourself, you need to run it like that. You want to leave it for about an hour before you go for a diet just to make sure all the glue sets and hardens and cools down. Yeah, there you go.